621 now and all morning long. Eric is out on the Mississippi River today for National Maritime Month and Maritime Day with the Port of New Orleans. That's right. He's going to be taking a look at the importance that the port plays in our local, national, and even global economy. And he's with the port CEO now. Eric? All right. Thanks very much. And for those of us who live here in New Orleans, oftentimes we forget just how big of a deal and how important the Port of New Orleans is. That's the whole idea behind uh, National Maritime Month and uh, National Maritime Day is coming up this weekend. And this morning, we have the CEO of the Port of New Orleans, uh, Brandy Christian. It's a little windy out here this Hello. morning. So uh, first of all, you guys are getting ready to celebrate 125 years in existence. Yes, uh, this year we're kicking off our 125th anniversary as an, a public agency. July 9th, 1896, the Port of New Orleans, or as many people call it, the Dock Board, was formed as a public agency. So we're celebrating our history, but also really focused on the opportunities ahead. And we've been coming out here for the past five years talking about, uh, in, in, uh, or is it International Maritime Day? National Maritime Day. National Maritime Day. I tried to even elevate it more. Uh, and I was driving through the port. You forget just how big of a facility this is. It goes on for miles. It does. Uh, the Port of New Orleans actually is across Orleans Parish, St. Bernard Parish, and Jefferson Parish. And uh, National Maritime Day celebrates the entire maritime industry. And this year, we really wanted to highlight the unsung heroes, uh, the workforce, the frontline employees that kept the port moving throughout the pandemic. Yeah, and it was a big job. It's still a big job. And let's talk about, you mentioned St. Bernard. You guys are getting ready to expand down to St. Bernard because there you can have a, a cargo operation that you can't have here. When you have these giant cargo ships loaded with all those containers, they can't get under the GNO bridge, or well, I call it the GNO bridge, the CCC. Uh, but down in in, uh, in, uh, in St. Bernard, you can offload them there. Yeah, we're going through a due diligence and permitting process for a second container terminal in St. Bernard Parish. And I think we all have a, a greater appreciation for the importance of container shipping um, because the Port of New Orleans had to continue to move medical supplies, food, equipment, a lot of that comes in containers. So a modern facility that can handle the increasingly larger ships is important for the state of Louisiana. So uh, we are focused on moving that project forward. Yeah, and one of the things we'll be talking about this morning is the Public Belt Railroad. That was an acquisition the port made in a swap with the city. How important was that for the port to get that? You know, it's extremely important. I think uh, in today's world with e-commerce, it's all about logistics and having the synergies and the coordination between the railroad and the port is so extremely important. Um, we've been able to modernize the railroad, invest in a lot of technology that's really made it a much smoother operation. And what kind of an economic impact has, has the port made uh, in New Orleans just over the past few years? You know, um, the, the impact is tremendous. I think often um, it kind of goes unseen. It's very, it varies. A good example is the cruise industry. I think so often um, people think about uh, the passengers that go to restaurants and hotels. Yeah. Just the lost business this year is about $250 million. And that's just a small impact. part of what you do here. And when you're talking about the cruise industry, when do you foresee it coming back? Uh, right now, we are hopeful that we will see our first ship probably in the fall. Uh, the CDC has uh, given some guidance to the cruise lines to be able to resume cruising. I think by time the cruise lines can get those protocols put in place, we may see a ship in the fall. So we're very hopeful. And, and uh, again, about what percentage of the business is the cruise industry as opposed to the rest of the port? About 17% is the cruise business for the port. As, as you mentioned, yeah. we're also in the railroad business as well as the cargo business. I think overall our impact is about 20,000 jobs. I think most importantly is when you look at the quality of the jobs, the average maritime job is 51% higher paying than the average local job. That's extremely important when we talk about the diversity of this economy locally. Right. So that's our real focus. And as we talk about the opportunity in St. Bernard Parish and our other expansions, we're really looking to expand that economic right. impact. Well, Brandy, thanks for having us out again. Absolutely. We do appreciate Thank it. Thank you for joining us. All right. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Yeah, the port does so much. It's, it's so great to have this day where we remember all of that. Thanks, Eric.